Ladies and gentlemen, how you doing today? My name's Philip and today there are two new gloves that have been released. Two? Yes, two. It's crazy. What am I talking about? If you head right down all the way over here to a glove that costs 9,750 slaps, you could see the coil glove. 50 power, 16 speed, and it has the ability of the spring pistol. What is the spring pistol? Let me show you the spring pistol. So you have the coil, right? Look how far that reaches. Oh, that's so crazy. Dude, this glove's wild. You can go for such a far distance with this thing, too. Oh. Hey, you, sir! <laughs> Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, let's talk about some counters for the coil glove. Of course, you can use diamond here. That'll keep you safe. You're a rock. I'm interested to see if the long distance Z can hit you. Short distance? Yeah, of course they can hit you. But long distance, that's what I want to see. All right, let's go ahead and check it out. And oh, okay, so if you're on the ground, the long distance coil hit will not get you. Up close? Definitely. But from a distance, you are safe. Theoretically, you could use the flash glove to get close to them. That could be a method that could work. Not really top tier, but could work ring so that you can hop over the coil that's coming at you. That could definitely work. You have ghost here. Ghost is absolutely the counter because they just can't see you coming so ghost will counter mostly everything. <laughs> yep, the stun glove. The stun glove, if you're close enough, you can stun them. Not a great option though in my opinion, but it could work to stun them. Yep, this is a hando to get them closer to you and get that suction. Not the best counter in my opinion, but could work. Again, not really something that I would use personally. You could always magnet yourself closer to them before they hit their ability on you. That could work. Magnet's pretty good. We have the space glove if you want to go high up in the sky to avoid all the coils below this could definitely work if you try to get a sneaky advantage on them the dream glove if you are fast enough and know how to dodge well this could work but it's gonna be a little bit interesting because the ability on their end could take a little bit more of a hitbox so be careful with the dream if you're using the golden's ability you are safe that is confirmed now let's test out cheeky cheeky always has like the greatest knockback resistance so i'm kind of gonna think that it's gonna be the exact same thing here and cheeky's gonna be another top counter so let's go ahead let's Walk over to the test, and oh yes, oh yes, you take reduced knockback from this. You take, like, no knockback from this at all, basically. <laughs> so, if you're being targeted by a coil, just pop a cheeky, and you should be good to go, because look, you're taking, like, no knockback whatsoever for this. So yet again, another week of cheeky being a top-tier counter, which is pretty cool. So now, let's try replica. I'm interested to see if the users can actually slap a replica glove, or a replica, not the glove. <laughs> let's call one replica in, and let's see if they can slap it. So, Oh my gosh. The coil glove cannot attack a replica. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, so if you have someone that's targeting you with the, <laughs> the coil glove, call a replica and stay out of the way. Let the replica go get a slap. <laughs> so definitely W replica. I would not use defense. You're not going to be saved. <laughs> Don't test it. Reverse. I have high hopes for reverse. I believe that the reverse will either give like no damage to me and no knockback or it might give them the slap. Let's go ahead and test this out. And yes. Okay, so it's like the effect it's, it's them. So the reverse is a fantastic and top counter for this. Just be weary that both abilities pop very fast, so you are going to have to be on top of it while you're popping your reverse ability. You can always shikuchi them, uh, but you have to be close, and you're not safe after. And we reach blocked. Okay, so let's see. If we hit someone with the blocked glove, can they still hit us with the coil ability? Obviously, they can't slap us, but with the coil ability's hand, can they? Alrighty, so we have our subject here, and oh, blocked is a no go. Do not use blocked because you will become a human piece of putty after being slapped so many times. <laughs> if you land the rocky, you can rock them, of course, and get close. You could always use a coil against a coil. That always works. Phantom, if you want to try to get close and sneaky, you could always throw a tracker, table flip at them, and stop them from a distance. Those work. Shield. I'm interested to see whether or not shield will stop the coil ability. It'll obviously stop the slap, but will it stop the first ability and take away a shield? Let's go ahead and see right here, and no, you are not safe at all. <laughs> Soon as you get slapped, you are donezo. Oh, look at them all running at me. It was like zombies. <laughs> Y'all are amazing. <laughs> You could use ping pong and hit them from a distance. That works. Now, I'm interested to see, with Baller, can they actually hit the Baller with the Coil Glove ability, or are they going to have to get close? Part of me wants to say they they should be able to hit it, but I'm kind of thinking that with the way the other things have worked with Replica, I don't think that they're going to be able to hit it. So let's go ahead and see right here. Can they stop the Baller? No, no, they cannot. 
the coil glove cannot reach a baller. Interesting. So they're going to have to get close. I kind of figured it was going to be like that after Replica. Whirlwind, you could absolutely get close to them and hit them with the slap. But again, this glove is kind of very meh right now. You could always one tap them with God's Hand, the Flex, Air, or Overkill. But you have to get real close. And the glove that we're fighting is a very distance glove. So be very careful. Any of the rocks like Custom, Mega Rock, or Diamond will keep you safe. Custom and Mega Rock will keep you a little bit more safe because you can fry people. <laughs> Ultra Instinct gives you that 50% dodge rate. Now, of course, we come upon Phase. Phase protects against, like, everything. Always get Phase if you don't have it. Somebody goes to try to slap me, nothing's gonna happen because it's Phase. That's just how Phase works. Phase is amazing. You can always bomb, bubble, jet, and shard these users from a distance. Those always work. It's a distanced fight, so those can actually be pretty good. You can always bob them and send them in a different direction. Now, the real test that I want to know, can you buddy someone and be safe from the coil ability? I think it might be the same as Block now that I think think about it because usually with block you could get at one with another glove so we'll go ahead and test and see right now oh was that oh i was buddied with that person you are not safe wow you are not safe if you use the buddy's glove it is not a counter keep that in mind theoretically you could use jupiter to keep yourself like mounted after you get hit so i mean i guess that could work but nothing i would use with hybrid and slapple if you use the hybrid slew ability and slapple to jump up you can avoid and try to run away from the fight if you want to run away if you use the charge glove do you get hit while you're in mid charge i believe you would but <laughs> Let's test it out anyway. Here we go, and yes, we were hit. And you can definitely get hit while you are in charge. If you get close enough, you can use glitch and pull them into this ability, but nothing I would use because it's a distance fight and that's an up-close glove. Now, we must try elude. Can you elude dash and dodge against one of these users? And the answer, after we get done lagging here, <laughs> is a no! You are not safe while you are using elude against one of these users. You are are gonna get coiled to death. You could always use fish, by the way, and flop yourself back off the edge. That's always a great counter. You could always use kinetic for the one-time knockback reduction, but again, it's gonna take a while for you to get kinetic reduction back, so uh, not really viable, in my opinion. And ladies and gentlemen, if you're close enough, you could use boogie, but again, it's a very close glove against distance glove, so I really wouldn't recommend it. But that is my list of counters for this new coil glove, which is absolutely amazing. So much fun to use. Now, the great thing with the coil ability is, watch this. Once you use it, you get a slap off of the ability hit. So this is a good grinding glove. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, we are now in Slap Royale for the second new glove. It is called the Thundercaller Glove. Conjure a nearby lightning cloud to shock your enemies is what the badge description is. It's not a badge, it's a glove description. What am I talking about? I don't know. But I heard a rumor that this is a glove that costs 13k slaps to get. It's not really a rumor. I think it's more true than rumor. But we're here anyway. We're gonna use it. But this thing is crazy. I've seen it used once already and this glove shocks the ground around you can shock you actually so you have to be very careful and if somebody uses it around the map your screen will shake this glove is wild alrighty so let's land school real quick I don't think anybody's here let's see what do we got we got any good gubbins we got an apple wow <laughs> come on what's over here and nothing wow school didn't... oh there's a goober all right all right ready ready and we use it we back up uh oh we got to do it oh, oh we shocked him Yes! Alright, so that is how it works. You can hear that shockwave of everything that happens. Please. Please what? <laughs> please stop, please. <laughs> what are you going on about, Goober? <laughs> I am noob. Please don't kill me. <laughs> I don't have nothing to do. Don't kill me. Alright, alright, alright. We won't kill the noob, you know. We'll be generous. We'll let the noob live for now. But if it's endgame, I have no promises for you. This is the ability. It shocks the ground. You're Zeus! You're basically Zeus! Uh, go get kills. Can you help me get kills? I can't help you get kills. I can't physically take control of your character and get kills. The only thing I can do is not kill you. <laughs> so far, it's been one crazy... Oh, look at this. Yeah, you see how it shook my camera right there? Yeah, that's exactly what happens from a distance. So imagine a whole lobby of people using that ability. Your screen is going to be like a hurricane. <laughs> Alright, you've been on my back for like way too long, man. And you won't attack, so eat this! Okay, man, right. Oh god! Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. come on, move! <laughs> <laughs> that was close. I'm not gonna lie, that was close. But he won't, he won't advance. He won't advance for me to flick. So you know what? I'm gonna play the time game on this guy. For the entire rest of this lobby, I will play the time game on him until he t decides to aggress. And if he doesn't, then I'm gonna take advantage of it. Come on, let's get close. Come on, get him, get him! 
No! <laughs> There's just enough of a delay for them to escape. I wonder if this can actually work through the fence. Let's see. Let's see. Alright. Right next to each other. Come on. Oh, there's just so much of a delay. I think that this might be best if you hit somebody and they're slapped on the ground and then you call and cast the lightning above them once they're ragdolled. That might be the better option. You know what? Be gone, sir. <laughs> I just love watching that ability hit. Alright, Cooperhead. Final two. Let's get it. Oh, God. Almost. Oh, I did get myself. I thought I was a little bit farther back, but alright, whatever. Yeah. What? How did he get me? I thought I hit him. Alright, we're not down. We're not out of this. Let's get back in it. We got 85. Oh, we're down. Okay, we're Come on, yes! Okay, I still have my cube of ice that I refuse to use. <laughs> oh, yes! Okay, I got there in time just to use it. Alright, now, you're out there, I'm in here, let's keep it that way, right? Yes! Be gone! <laughs> I've got zero kills, and I think this guy is like seven or eight, so, uh... Yeah! Oh, I thought the lightning would be a little bit more, but, uh... We'll, we'll keep him back, we'll keep him at bay. So, the lightning could be good for, like, real small circles... Small circles, sorry! Or keeping people at bay like I just did. Get out of here! Yes, this is my game. This is my game. You have the most kills and I have no kills, but I'm, I'm killing it right now. Get out of here. This is my area. <laughs> All right, one more tap and you are done, so you get out of here. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, we're in. Oh, just barely, though. All right, we're each like one tap right now. One and we're done. All right, all right, all right. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> Yeah. Whoa! Okay, alright, alright, come on, come on, yeah! Yes, get out of here! Yeah, let's go! And we have the lightning for the win! The greatest win you've ever seen in your life! The most kills anybody has ever gotten! The most spectacular thing that has ever been done by anybody! <laughs> All right, all jokes aside, I got the cheapest victory. I took the dub. I don't care. I got the lightning. It was fun. That's all that mattered. It was fun. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching this episode. It was very fun to make. It was uh, very interesting to see these new gloves that have come out. I want to know what you guys think on what if you think they're good, they're bad. You're going to use them from now on. You're going to not use them. Let me know what you think. Other than that, I hope that every single one of you, yes, every single one of you, have an amazing rest of your day or night whenever you're watching this, and I shall see you in the next one. Later!